So tomorrow is the official PC release of Hunting Sim 2, and I was really looking forward to getting to try this game out again, and thanks to the devs we actually get to have one last look at the game before that release, but I didn't expect my save file to still be intact, I thought I'd be starting over from scratch, but it's actually nice, we're gonna have some equipment and stuff, and it also allows us to see some of the things that have changed, so for instance the black bear was not here before, I do like that position for the mount, but it was actually up here, and you may remember that the elk antlers kind of were like hovering above the elk in the trophy lodge. They were fine live, but in the lodge they were a little bit off, and that's been fixed as well, so that's all good to see. But we now have access to all the maps, and the previous version of the game we played, we could only go to the Colorado ones, but now we have Colorado, Texas, and Europe, and I really want to go to both of these Texas maps. So the Chihuahuan Desert has Mule Deer, Pronghorn, Bighorn that we have licenses for, and then there's a bunch of small game and wild boar as well. I would get other licenses, but I literally don't have enough money. But hopefully we can earn some money in this region and then go to the other one, because that's got pretty much all the same stuff, plus whitetail, cougars, coyotes, elk, bison. Like, it's got pretty much everything, and I really want to take a look at the bison and see where they end up in the trophy lodge. But I think the desert's going to be easier to find stuff, so we're going to head out there and kind of see what we can do. So right away, this looks like the plains map that we hunted before, and the way that we had the most success there was kind of just getting to positions that we could glass and seeing stuff in the distance because the binoculars allow you to see really, really far. So I do have those with me. And again, it's nice that we don't have to start over because we have some of that decent equipment. So we'll see if there's anything around here for us to go for and hopefully start earning some money. Oh, that's actually really cool. We got a couple of pronghorn bucks here. I'm so glad that I got the license for them. We're gonna try to get probably both if we can. I can't tell much of a difference. We'll just get the front one. Hopefully. Pretty sure we got him good. If I remember right, there's kind of like an indicator with the shot, and when it turns red, it's actually a kill shot. I'm not 100%, but I believe I saw that kind of red indication, so hopefully we got him. And I did have some issues last time I played, like finding animals that I shot if I didn't just go directly to them. So we're going to head over there and we're going to see if the dog can maybe help us out because that's something else I want to look at. There was only one dog like unlocked that we could see before. I'm assuming we can potentially see all the different kinds now so I do want to check that out when we head back to get the other licenses and stuff. And we did actually get them so I did notice there's different like audio for the dog interaction. Good job. That's the same one we had. Let's go. I don't know that we had that one before, but this is an adult pronghorn. We'll see if we get anything better, but at the end of the hunt we may actually keep that because I want to see what they look like in the lodge, but there was that other buck and they don't tend to run super far, so we'll kind of keep our eyes open for that. Okay, that's a really nice looking desert bighorn. I think he's pretty close to be honest. Yeah, like 130, so that shouldn't be an issue. We should be able to just hopefully go for that. And I think we got that frontal heart shot, so not bad. That's a female, which we can't shoot. But that could definitely be more cash. Now, as I understand it, the desert bighorn and the bighorn we shot in Colorado should be two different species and two different, like, plaques to fill in the lodge. So if this were to be a mature animal, we may end up keeping it. And it's just adult, so it should actually be... Like, not the biggest they can get. So we'll take that. And I'd like to get just a few more things to make sure we're going to have enough to go to the other region and, like, get the licenses and stuff. But definitely a good start. That's actually another pretty decent looking ram. And it's kind of walking away from us, so we'll probably try to hurry. And I think that's going to be a good hit. It's doing the limping thing, and I believe they go down after that, so not too bad. And that one was just a young one. I thought it might have been clear that it was smaller, but I wasn't sure. So that's another one that's definitely going to be cash then. So I thought we'd hunt our way back to the cabin, but I didn't see anything else. So I think we're going to see if we have enough uh, cash to get the licenses we need for the other region. So if we go ahead and claim our animals, that's going to be 227. I think we'll just sell everything. I mean, I am going to restart again when the game actually officially comes out. So... That seems to make sense. This one's not even a year old, that second one we shot. But that's going to get us close. I think we'll be able to get a bison, 
um, license. And the way that the licenses work is they're good for the state, but they're not good for different states. So, for instance, like, our, uh, what do we get? Mule deer license is going to be good for the Texas two regions, but it's not going to be good for Colorado. So, I think they're only in Roosevelt Forest. I don't want to head out. I just want to look at the licenses. Um, we have a mule deer license, but that's one out of four. So, that's a different license there. So, all the other ones we're good for, but I do need to go and get the bison one and yeah we can actually get new dogs now we don't have enough money to do that but there's a yellow lab black lab brown lab and a pointer that's interesting and i wonder if there's going to be another dog eventually that one looks a little bit odd i definitely like the look of the labs better so we'll just kind of keep that on the screen but that's something i'll definitely work towards but like i was saying i am going to restart once the game is officially released and we'll do like a full playthrough of trying to fill the trophy lodge. But I think we're going to be set to head out to the other region now. Alright, so there's a bison that keeps calling over there. He's finally kind of walking into view. That's crazy how like beat up he is. I wonder if they all look like that. But I definitely want to get him. And you might be able to hear, there's some elk bugling over there. I wonder if we can get that. That might be good. If we end up getting another broadside shot, I'll take it. It's hard to say, like a 30-06 is probably pretty small a caliber to be trying to take a bison with, so I would expect him to run fairly far. But yeah, I was going to say... There's some elk over there, and we were just shy on having enough credits to buy an elk license, but I'm guessing... Actually, I think we can look. Is the bison... Yeah, it's a max of one anyway. So, if this isn't a mature one, we may just head back, buy an elk license, and buy another bison one so we have enough for another bison, and then we can shoot some elk as well. Because they were good for credits last time. But... Did he go down? I think he'd be really easy to see if he was fleeing. So I'm guessing he did, but we're gonna have to get on the blood. That's really kind of cool, like how beat up he is though. And I really do wonder, like, if that's gonna be what they all look like. Dog. You did real good. There's one of the new uh, audio interactions with the dog though. So that's just a young one. I would have thought maybe that was mature or adult just based off like the fur. But I'm kind of guessing maybe they all do look that way, but there is a cougar, which we can't shoot, but I don't know. You may be able to get the other backpack now, because currently with the backpack I have, you can only carry one weapon, but I believe it's possible to carry two if you have the bigger backpack. So we're not going to have enough cash just from that bison if I want to buy an elk license as well, but that's something we can definitely try to use in the future and... I do think we'll do that because I want to hunt more bison anyway, so I would like to get another license for them. That's a huge pronghorn. There was a different one somewhere back there behind him that kept calling, and I mean he's nowhere near as big as this guy, but maybe if he'll lift his head again we can try to get some kind of vital hit. I think that's going to be perfectly fine. It looks like he dropped, but yeah, there was another. I don't know where it got to, but I gotta think this is a mature pronghorn, which probably is one we'll send to the lodge, because I'm pretty sure that bison's gonna make us enough money to get the tags that I want. But that's just... giant. It doesn't really look impossible, but he's really, really tall. And even that's only adult. Like, I know I was getting mature animals in the, like, initial version of the game, so... At least I assume that's still possible. But I hope a young bison at least pays for a bison tag. And yeah, buy a lot. <laughs> 4,000 is a pretty good number. So we'll sell that. And our pronghorn, I think I want to throw that on the wall actually. Just to see what that looks like. And we'll head back and actually get those tags. Because I'd like to have the ability to potentially get other stuff. But where does the pronghorn end up? So the lighting right on his horns makes them look a little bit light, but I do wonder if Mature is going to be any bigger than that. Because I wouldn't expect him to get much bigger, but 
maybe mature and adult are like the same model and mature is just harder to come by. But that's pretty cool to run into just heading back here. But yeah, we can actually get another dog now with the amount of money we got from that bison. So if things stay as they are on this version and you get the game, would absolutely recommend uh, bison hunting to make money because that was insane. So there's two bigger backpacks and both allow for the same thing. This one actually looks a lot like what I use in real life, so we're going to buy that one. You can see in the bottom right there though, plus one weapon, plus four items. And the other one that we were using was only allowing us to carry two more items. So now, I think I'm also going to buy a cougar license just in case we manage to find one of them. And yeah, that's left us with enough to get a new dog. So I think I like the Black Lab model the best. And okay, we just name him from here. So I'll have to think a second. Okay, I can't come up with any uh, super creative names and I'm literally starting over anyway. So we're not going to keep him forever, but we're just going to name him Buck for now. And do I have to... I think you choose which dog you bring from here. So that should have him coming with us on our next hunt. And he's probably going to be a little less well-trained than Jax, but that'll be just fine. And let's head out and see if we can find anything else cool. Okay, he's way bigger, though, than the little beagle. I'm curious, like, if they're going to do any better or any worse, if there's any difference at all. I have no idea if there is. I don't know if there's a description I should have read, but he seems a little faster. That might be good. Okay, that's another just massive pronghorn, so maybe not super rare to actually see one that size. But I hope that got into a lung. Yeah, he's doing the limping animation, so he'll go down. So that didn't work out bad at all, but I'm curious maybe if this one's going to end up being mature. Because I know that's what we were getting before. Like, the oldest animals we got were mature. At least I assume that's older than adult, but that would seem to make sense. But since we have a new dog, we should actually let him find it and praise him, because that does give him uh, different, like, expertise and stuff. I guess he'll just find it without me even telling him to. That's a good dog. Not bad. All right. We'll even do just a little petting animation. Who's a good dog? I liked it a lot better than the beagle one. But this one's an adult again. But we did get that long shot, so not too bad. And at least we get to sell that one for cash, because we already have an adult one in the lodge. That's an odd-looking mule deer. He looks more like a whitetail. But he went broadside there, and I think we got him. But I would have thought that would be a whitetail with the coloring. I mean, that looks just like a whitetail. But it said mule deer. And I want to let the dog get over here so we can actually praise him because his skills are going up pretty quickly like he already has some driving expertise going That's a good dog. but it's listed as a mule deer we actually got somehow heart and intestines I guess but I mean sure a little bit weird looking so we have another pronghorn out here but I have to use the 243 because a weird thing happened and I don't have a scope on my 30-06 anymore and I don't know how to fix that, but I thought we hit him good. I'm actually starting to wonder. It is ethical to use the 243 on these, but it may be a matter of just not hitting the lungs then. Well, whatever we got there worked. But yeah, I figure we're just going to head back because I can't really do a whole lot without a scope. I mean, if I got super close, but maybe in first person? Even still, aiming without a scope is a little bit weird, so I think we're just going to head back to the cabin. That's actually a nice sheep that we just spooked, though. I mean, again, the 243 is ethical. That might have been good. Yeah, I think we nailed that. I mean, we'll take that, too. And it didn't even slide that far down, but still, adult is as good as we're getting for these, so I don't know if mature is even a thing, then. I'm going to have to really check, because when we start over, I definitely don't want to shoot a bunch of adults if they're the oldest or, like, best trophies you can get, and then just sell them. So go figure. We end up with a bison literally in our path. Come on. I'm going to try to get the dog to stop, because I 
think they could spook animals. I seem to remember that happening. But he's kind of struggling to get over here, so maybe it's not going to be an issue. But can I, like, spot him so I know when he's spooked? You have to cycle through the weapons. So at least I have him spotted now and I can have an idea of when he spooks, because when that white indicator starts to go yellow, then he's starting to get alert, because I want him to come as close as he will. Because I think it's going to be a struggle, open sights. It feels like he's so close, though. That's, like, about 100 meters. Let's see. I mean, that looked like it hit fine. And the last one ran fairly far. So... I mean, he's still going. I think he's starting to limp, though. Just hit him again for good measure. That brought him down. I really didn't think we'd be getting another bison when, for whatever reason, my scope disappeared, but that works out. I mean, the cabin's literally up on top of that hill there. So it was good that he ended up being where he was. And I looked through the key bindings. I don't see a button that removes the scope. I genuinely have no idea where it went. We had it at one point in this hunt, but I don't know if I caused that or not. But I think I'd actually like to keep this one in the lodge. He is an adult one, so better than the last one. It would probably be worth, like, a ton of credits, but we're going to start over. And I want to see where they go in the lodge and what they look like, because they're actually pretty decent looking models. But yeah, I guess we'll sell the pronghorn. This might actually be... I don't know if it's a different kind of mule deer or not. We'll save it and see. We'll sell that pronghorn. Uh, should be a different bighorn, so we're going to keep that. And even though the bison's worth almost 5,000 credits, we are going to keep that just to see what it looks like in the lodge. So let's head back there. Ooh, that actually goes in a really nice spot. I like that a lot. The mule deer did actually replace the previous one. I don't know what the deal is with the skin of that, though. Because if you saw at the beginning, like, it looked a lot more like a mule deer. So I really have no idea, because the other thing is, the white tail has more, like, white up around his nose than it probably should. And that almost looks like a better looking white tail, so I don't really know what's going on with that. But we do have a new bighorn. So this is the Colorado one. This is the one from today. Pretty much the same models with a slightly different fur. This one's a little grayer, which I believe is right. Actually, I'm not 100% certain, but... Either way, pretty decent looking, and I like how the lodge is coming together. Now, of course, we're going to have to start over and get this stuff again. But having that bison up there, I think is really cool. And I hope Moose goes here. I never did mount a moose, but that seems to actually make sense. But yeah, that is our last look at Hunting Sim 2 before the official PC release. Like I said, I'm going to start over. I'm going to do a playthrough trying to fill the lodge with... Hopefully mature animals, assuming that's still a thing, or adult. Whatever we can get to uh, figure out what the best trophy quality is. But yeah, I enjoyed this. I'm looking forward to actually getting to do a playthrough. So yeah, that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.